we've created a 3D scene of a VR birthday card from my niece Lauren. So we've got lots of cool objects in the scene. There's a cake. There's some spheres for navigating. I can click on a sphere and go right to the birthday cake. But no birthday card would be complete without actually saying the words happy birthday. To say the words happy birthday, we need some text. The text in 3D is tricky. We could use HTML and put it on top of the scene, but the minute we go into immersive mode, that's going to go away. We only see the 3D content, so that won't work. We could draw text into a texture and then just splat that inside the scene. And in fact, the VR stats module I have here is doing exactly that. It uses an HTML canvas, draws some simple text updated three times a second. That becomes a texture, which is then drawn to a rectangle inside. But that's not really three-dimensional text. So my third option is I can actually create some three-dimensional geometry from a small piece of text. And that's what we're going to do here. 3JS has text support built into it. We can create a text geometry, but we still need a font. It needs to know what the actual shapes of the letters should look like. Now, it has a one font built into it, but it's kind of a boring sans serif. Instead, let's find a cool font to use. So I went to a web page called fontlibrary.org, and they have a bunch of open source Creative Commons licensed fonts that we can use. And there's a very popular one here called Poppins, probably for the new Mary Poppins movie. Um, looks like something that my niece would enjoy, so let's take a look. I'm going to write Happy Birthday Lauren, and it shows us a preview. It's got kind of a bubbly look to the round shapes in the font. So I like that. It was created by the Indian Type Foundry in the 1920s. So that's handy. It actually has glyphs for many other languages. So I can download this as a tree type font. The next thing is we need to load it into our scene. So let's create a loader. There is a 3JS extension in the examples directory that which knows how to load tree type fonts to get the actual shapes of each letter. So we need the TTF loader and OpenType, which is the support library it uses. And those are already built into our boilerplate. So we can just create a new TTF loader. So we're going to load it with the font. So let's download Poppins. We'll unzip it. We can see it has many different weights. So it's black, bold, with bold italic. I think what we want, just stick with the regular for now and put it in the folder. And we can load it as Poppins Media. So this will load and give us the font data. Now we need to turn it into something that 3JS understands. So we'll do that by using the standard font loader. So we create a font loader, tell it to parse the data, and now we have a font that 3JS knows how to use. So let's create some geometry from it. Now, our geometry is going to be a 3JS text buffer geometry. And we give it the text we want, which is going to be Happy Birthday, Lauren. And then a bunch of settings. First setting is the font which is the one that we just loaded. Of course, we have to have that. Let's give it a size. Now, the exact size we choose depends on how big we want the text to be and where it's going to be in the scene. So I always just start with a size of 1 and start tweaking from there. Then the height. The height is actually the depth because we have the text in front of us. If it was on the ground, it would be the height. Let's start with, let's say, half a meter. There's a bunch of other settings that control how the curves are turned into polygons. We'll just leave the defaults for now. So now that we have geometry, we can create a mesh using that geometry. So now the mesh is going to need some material. And this time I'm using mesh standard material instead of Lambert. Lambert is kind of my default. It's pretty cheap to render. It gives you nice diffuse shading. It looks nice. But when we want something to stand out, if we want it to be shiny and very visible, we can use standard material, which is more complicated, and it lets us control the look of the material through roughness and metalness settings. Standard is part of PBR, physically based rendering, which is becoming the standard through all 3D pipelines, and 3JS supports it. 
So for that, let's give it a base color of, let's say, pink and metalness. Let's start with a metalness of 0 and a roughness 0 0.5. And we'll just see how that looks and start tweaking the settings. Now we have our object. And of course, we need to position it in the scene. I put it at negative 7, which is roughly where the cake is, and 5 is going to be somewhere above where the cake is. And then add it to the stage, like we do with everything else. Okay, now we've reloaded, and we can see it does say Happy Birthday, Lauren. Though it's not centered, and the text is kind of a weird color, and it's way too big. Let's go back, and we'll change the size, and move it a little further back. Height seems okay, but actually it might be a little too high. Let's move it down. So that looks about right, except that the text isn't centered. It's positioning the left edge right at the position of the whole object. So let's just center it. We can center the text by calling center on the ge geometry object before we add it to the mesh. Great. Now it says happy birthday, Lauren. It's partly hidden by the trees, and when I go navigate to the cake, I can see it. Except that the text is up a little too high and it's way too deep. So let's lower it slightly again, a little further back. We always do lots of tweaking as we start to experience the scene. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I want except the text is too deep. So we can change that with the depth setting, which is actually height. Let's change it to 0.2. There we go, that looks better. But I'm not really getting much of the color, and I want it to be kind of a shiny look. So we're going to add a bevel. Turns out, when we generate the geometry, we can add a bevel to it. So we set bevel enabled to true, and set the bevel thickness to, let's say, 0 0.2 meters, which would be about 20 centimeters. And use the rest of the default settings, we can see how it looks. Now we can see it, but it has all of the letters have smushed into each other. That's because the bevel size is still way too big. So let's set this bevel size down to 0 0.1. Now we can see the letters again, and they're definitely beveled, but they're kind of squishing into each other. So let's reduce the bevel size again. Now we have nice bubbly text, but you can see it's super bright, almost white. That's because we're actually very close to the light, and the light is very intense. So let's slide it back just a tad more, and let's reduce the intensity of our point light. So we'd set it to 2.0, let's reduce it to 1.5. There we go. Happy birthday, Lauren. Text definitely looks shiny. I'm pretty happy with that. So in this segment, we created happy birthday text. In order to do text, we could have done HTML on top, but we wouldn't see that in VR. We could have done canvas to create a texture, but that won't look very good once you get close to it. We want something that's bright and bold and rounded. So we created Happy Birthday with text geometry using a custom font and then messed with the settings until we got the exact look we wanted. So that's it for text. The final thing we want to do now is add some interaction. It would be nice if when we got to the cake it would actually sing Happy Birthday. 